All right, let's get started. We are going to start adding a plane to start with. Shift A to adding a plane, and we'll go to the top view. And if we'll go up here to see this um, tiny window, it says two meters by two meters. So this is uh, basically a square. So we're gonna hit tab, go to the edit mode, and right click subdivide. So we're going to have like a, a cross uh, around this plane. So we're gonna select this. Vertices, Control B and V to bevel this vertices and drag, and then to move your middle mouse wheels to having a like a, a star shape like this, and then left click, and then immediately you are going to right click to go to the loop tools, go to circle, and you can enable this add-on if you don't have that. It's come with Blender. Hit S key to scale it up, and then. Again, hit I key to insert it. Just adding a support loop because basically this is the these are the small individual holes we are going to use. All right, so we're going to select that. Hit J to join that. All right, J and these two. Hit J. Now I'm going to select this vertices. Hit X to delete the vertices. Now this is the smallest unit that we are going to use for our uh, one single unit. So we are going to have like uh, creating a a net, and then we're gonna do the deformations and trying to get the shape that we want. All right, so go with this one, and then we're gonna go to this wrench icon to adding a array modifier. So I'm going to start with this. Uh, let's just do ten. Okay. Okay. Or maybe let's do twenty. So get a little bit more. So I have twenty like this uh, in your roll, and if I'm go to edit mode, this looks like this. And the tricky part is, is we are going to creating a kind of like a square, a shape, a net with this shape. But we don't want to go with simply like this to align each other by exactly the same, like this one, like this. We don't want to having this shape because it doesn't deform very well. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to let's do. Uh, two. So what I'm going to for the x factors, I'm going to making sure this line is actually aligned with this vertices. So I'm going to drag this thing, just holding uh, Shift key to drag to here. And so slowly, you can see here we have almost right here. The reason I was calling you guys. To, this is like two by two. So basically, this is about a meter, right? Because each line is supposed to be two meters long. So we are going to do the relative factor. So we can do a quarter. So let's do 2.5. You can do so because this is a relativity for this. Or we can just get rid of this thinking about the, the whole thing. We can just go with a constant offset. And then we're going to definitely change this one to two meters. And it's going to move up. And then we move this one to one meters, right? So which means this is the half of this circle, right? So either way, you can do so. Then you can just making sure this line along with this. Then we are going to utilize this as one unit. And then we're going to adding the third array modifier. And now basically we can just go with uh, that. It's just come with Z and then I can just move to one. And then this will be a good time to adding a couple more. So let's do uh, let's do 10. How about that? So this has become a the net that we're going to deform later on for our, with our US fair. So we're going to use this to start with. And to be safe, what we can do here is Shift D to duplicate it. And right click, hit M key to adding a new collection uh, back up and put in there and disable that. Then what we can do next is to simply apply all these modifiers to make make sure we have access to all the geometry like this. Okay, so apply them, all of them, and then if we go to the tap edit mode, we can have all the access to the geometry. However, we have overlapped, uh, you know, the geometries over here, uh, the vertices. I need to do a quick uh, selection. Hit A key to select everything, and I can hit M key to merge. By distance and watch what's gonna happen down here. So you removed 1,900 vertices because there are so many vertices that have been duplicated. Now this is great. Okay, so basically this is going to be the one 
we're going to use. However, uh, because we're using this small unit to start with, our origin is in here. So I need to change the origin. Right click, go to the set origin to the geometry. Now it's in here. And then shift S to set the select to 3D cursor or to, to the world origin. That, that should be fine because the the 3D cursor is already in the word origin, so I'm just going to hit this select to cursor. Now it's been snapped over here. And remember, we're still on the top view, so go to the front view. This is what we're going to look at. And hit G and Z, just grab it and put it on the top. Now it's our time to adding a UV sphere. So shift A to adding a UV sphere. Okay, so now we have that the radius, uh, we can do the two. So basically we can just change this as 15, as 16, it should be fine. And I think that would be just fine. And then let's come back. You can see that this UV sphere is really small and this one is huge. And then what we can do here, we just need to shrink this uh, plant a uh, little bit more. And before doing so, I just want to make sure we're doing it pro properly. And uh, we are going to go to the edit mode, select everything and hit S to shrink it down and drag it down here. Okay, so this is something that we are going to, to work with. Hit S to shrink it down. And that's about this. And now uh, let's make sure we have applied the scale. So Control A to apply scale. And uh, now because we are going to make this thing as a curve on the top of this UV sphere, we needed to use a shrink wrap uh, modifier. So go to the modifier we kind of come here to do the shrink wrap select that and then we're going to making sure this thing is being shrink wrap onto this uh uv sphere so i'm gonna give a two level subdivision on this uv sphere control two and then right click shade smooth and i think this looks pretty good now if i select this one back i'm gonna select this target to this sphere uv sphere okay select that now immediately you will see we have something going on here. However, you see we are before we're doing so, everything's supposed to be like a circle. If I'm adding a uh, subsurface modifier, it's supposed to be a nice circle. But it, once we're adding this, is no longer a circle. This is something I, I don't like, and uh, we are trying to avoid this because this is, doesn't look professional at all, and it's not uh, artistically pleasing if you are just working for. A particular product model. So anyway, so we need to fix this. We select the net and then we'll come down here to change the wrap method to uh, project. So if we do project, we're going to project through a one one angle to this uh, particular uh, mesh. So that's what we're going to go for it. But uh, as you can see here now, there's nothing going on here. Just everything stay as plain, but we need to check the negative so now, now, once we check negative, you will see oh, something has been projected directly onto the top of the surface, right? However, it feels like this is too much and the part of it is not being selected. So the, the issue is going on here is because this plane is way too big from this angle. So I'm going to hit S key to shrink it down to making sure everything is being projected onto this one. So you see, it still have a couple more. So hit the S key to shrink it down. So now everything's being projected to this uh, top of this UV sphere. So that looks much better uh, for, for, for what we need. And then now I think we are we can just temporarily put it over here. Okay, select that. And uh, I'm going to select this plane to disable the subsurface modifier. And then uh, right now, you may think, well, I need to have a this one as a or a speaker look or something. I need to make sure that the inside has been empty. So what we can do here, we are going to select this UV sphere and shift the D to duplicate it and uh, right click and making sure this is going to be the cage or the outer uh, layer. You say that to rename that, then these two is going to be a parent together. So now I need to parent these two to work them together because when I change the UV sphere, everything is going to moving because this plane is project to here. So I just want to select these two and control P to 
parent to here. So now under the plane, you will see they will have a, already have a sphere over here. So hide that. So this is all good. Now this plane is something that we want to fix that later, but we want to deal with this uh, outer layer or which is the layer that we wanted to do some shape with it. So I'm going to select that. Go to edit mode and again I'm going to Alt Z X-ray mode. Select the top vertices. I'm going to select that. X key to delete it, and then we're having a kind of big hole over here now. And then hit F key to fill it, and then I'm, we are going to uh, working around this. Hit I to insert it. Let's disable that, and then go to the solid mode, X-ray mode. Hit E and Z to getting some uh, support loop and then GZ to drag it down and then go to the top view and hit I key hit I to insert it and then this is going to be the shape that we are going to use and then we're going to creating a net uh, cover the top of it this looks like a, a microphone type of feeling right or speaker you can say that all right so then uh, if I enable that, you now you immediately see this is the plane that we already created using the uh, UV sphere that we use. However, this UV sphere is exactly the same size to the outer layer. So basically what we can do here, we can just uh, shrink it down this one to make it fit it in a little bit better, right? So I can just hit S key to shrink it down. And now you immediately can see that this thing has been toggled in. Uh, so we can even just getting that shrink it down a little bit more. And I think that is good. Yeah. And then because right now this is really super thin layers, we basically need to have some thickness. So the best way to do so is to adding a, a solidify modifier. So go here and to drag this one between them. So basically if you can come here, you can see if I'm dragging the thickness, you will see, oh yeah, we have some thickness going on here. So I'm just dragging over here and to adding some uh, volume for that, okay? And now the subsurface modifier has been disabled. So if I enable that, ooh, looks nice, right? Right click, shade smooth. Yeah, not too bad at all, right? And the issue we are working with now is because this part is being not being perfectly cover this hole so what we can do here is either to change this shape of this one or i can manually to adding the circle to getting that closer so it doesn't really matter but depends on how you want to deal with this and then I, I can just simply change that the viewport displays to wire that would be much easier right so i can have that hit s to shrink this one, and then change the plane, hit S key to kind of drag it up a, a tiny bit, right? So it's in here, and then we can select that G, Z to merge the thing in side of this. Select that, hit S key to getting smaller. I think that is working. And maybe let's go with that. Yes, yeah, it's kind of annoying to to spending a lot of time adjusting these, but uh, for the quality of this work, it's definitely worth the time effort to get it properly done so i think it still have some small issues with that s to make in order to make it perfect mm. okay s okay how about that now let's select the uv sphere hide it I think this is all good by now. Definitely, if you want to having a bigger size of this net, you can redo the process, adding a couple more lines and more big surface. 
but I think this is just fine. So we can do here. We can even just to doing some a little bit cheat and hit S to shrink it down a, a, a tiny bit. So making sure everything's like tightened up properly. And because we're using and, and this way, our circle is being properly done and it looks like a, a round circle, which is very nice. And uh, we can certainly start working with this shape for the lower part. We can select that, hit S, Z, zero. We can do a bunch of cool stuff, G, Z. And hit S to adding some support loop. You know, so this is something that a kind of cool shape that we want. And if you're doing some architectures, you can do some lighting getting through. This can be a, a something uh, you can get into the inside or whatever. But this is the shape that we just created to do a quick practice. I think this is a pretty cool practice uh, to use uh, some modifiers and to understanding how to do this type of a net and it's very popular geometry when you're dealing with speakers and microphone stuff. All right. This is everything I want to share in this video. And if you enjoy this type of videos, please hit like and share it and uh, making sure you subscribe to my channel and to learn more tips about Blender modeling and the CGI. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next time. Bye.